Marissa here. So today I have an at-home core workout for you using only your body and a towel. So it doesn't matter what type of towel you have, the only prerequisite is, is that you can hold your hands out shoulder width apart. All right, so three different exercises that we're going to do together and we're going to do it four times. So I'll show you them first and then we'll do them. So exercise number one, we're going to hit the floor. Arms going back, we're making sure there's tension over here, so pulling it apart, legs in front, pointing the toes, and then you slowly just alternate one leg to the chest, then the other. That would be number one. Number two, we stand it up. We're going to go for reverse lunges, alternating reverse lunges with our arms up. So again, tension on the towel. As you step back, you bring the arms up. That's number two. Number three. We're going to spread our feet number wide, one foot is angled out to the side, arms up overhead, tension on the towel, and then we dip towards the leg. So you can stay down here pulsing as long as you want, or you go up and down. Pulsing will be harder. All right, these are our exercises. We're going to get started. So, starting off on our backs, let's get my timer ready. And in three, two, let's go. So on the ground, and then slowly alternate one knee to chest. If ever this is too difficult with your legs hovering off of the ground, the higher up you have them, it can get a little bit easier. All right, just make sure though, that you're pulling that towel with the upper body, with the arms. <laughs> this way you feel it in the upper body and in the belly. Two, one, standing up, reverse lunges. So you're aiming for a 90 degree angle in the back, in that knee. And then as you lunge back again, the arms come up overhead. I'm just gonna turn to the side to show you. You wanna make sure that the arms are straight up overhead. Turn back to the front. After this one, we have those windmills. Two. One, good. Angle that foot outwards, arms up overhead, and I'm going to pulse. So you stay down here for as long as you can, and again, you're still pulling that towel apart. And then when you need to, you come up. The coming up part just gives you a little, little bit of a break. So you do it when you need, not when you want. Make sure that your head is between the hands, and then after this one, we're going to switch to the other side. So in three, two, rotate the feet, same thing. So try and just make sure that you're open. You don't want to be leaning forward like this as you do it. And if you need to, you can bend the arms also. It will make it a little bit easier. Whoops. If you fall like I did, you just get back up and do it again. We're only human. It's normal for it to happen. So after this, we hit the floor again in three, two, and one. On our backs, pulling the towel apart, alternating leg to chest. And remember, if you want it a little bit easier, legs go a little bit higher. If you want it harder, legs go lower to the ground. If ever it is too much also moving the legs, you can just hold and just pull the towel. You will feel that also in the belly. Don't you worry. Two, one, standing up. Alternating reverse lunges. So, if you want this one more challenging, you keep the arms up the whole time, squeezing and pulling. This way there's always tension on that towel and in the upper body. After this one, we have those windmills again. So 
Just remember, try and keep the arms as straight as you can. That way it makes it a little bit easier. You're pulsing for as long as you can. Oop. And look at that, I need a break. See, emphasis on need, not want. There is a difference. We need to learn that. So after this one, we go back to the floor, starting our third round. And here we go. Thanks for joining me. Bye.